Anyways, today for this video, I'm, I'm we're viewing a World of Warships replay. So as you probably don't know this, but um, I'm on Facebook. Um, I'm on July the fourth. I actually had a had a post saying about this battle because. Well, because this is actually, like, my best battle ever recorded so far. And you'll see why. As I... Alright, so... So, without further ado, so... First of all, check the team layout. So we can see here, there's only two humans. A Des Moines and a Dimitri Donskoy. But two battleships, a line and a Zumo. Oh, and we also have three destroyers. Two Yugamos, Noodley, and we also have an Essex. So, okay, so starting here, here we can see I find that I'm that enemy Des Moines just lurking. Okay, you know, Ian, I'm just waiting to to choose the right time to fire here. So, here, but then I also, but I then I also found that Yugamo, and then I, and then I then I started opening fire on that Yugamo. Oh, and trying to see if I could hit it for a shot. For an attempt. Alright. Alright, so... I you can clearly see that Yugama's engine has been knocked out, so... So which makes it much easier for me to kill him. Kill him now, and you see, I'm just... Yeah, I'm just battering him at this point. I mean, what's he down at? Yeah, 28, 2800. And then, boom, kill him. Um, and then, and then, and then, and now I'm gonna, and now I'm switching straight to the enemy Des Moines. When, since that's the next major target. Alright, yeah, and also it's a cruiser. Cruiser, because I'm, I mean, I'm starting with the weaker ones, guys, and then working my way up. You up here? I mean, and, 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 you know, because it's a bot, you know, obviously he is, he is, well, his AA doesn't save him very well. Oh, and, and then I start a fire. Alright, and then, and I've actually, and then I start to switch to, um, to armor piercing shells, because then I, because he's broadsiding, and that's a perfect shot. But then I also put on my defensive AA fire, and I almost, almost actually managed to claim that kill, but, but that Dimitri Donskoy um, got the kill, and that was pretty annoying. <laughs> I got so annoyed. I got so annoyed. I got so annoyed and then started going to the next ship. Yep, which is of course that allied enemy Dimitri Donskoy. Wait, because like I was saying earlier, starting with starting with the weaker guys, then working my way up. Yep. And now you can see e, that Izumo is actually in my way here. Here, so so I need to be cautious, which is why you can see I'm slowing down because if I get too close, because Des Moines, I mean, because you know, because I, cause I know, oh, I gotta be careful with this thing, because because Des Moines cannot auto bounce 16 inch shells, which is what, so I gotta be careful. Careful, and you can see that Citadel hit on that Des at, on that Donskoy has brought him down to 16k HP. And I'm already switching to armor piercing shells. Else because he's broadsiding. I think in Soviet cruisers shouldn't be broadsiding. And then And then I just about managed to get to frag that kill. No, oh, but I managed to but I don't frag that one successfully. That's fully and I'm being that and the enemy And then I start going for the enemy Izumo. Oh, so yeah, it's very shaky, as you guys know. Oh, oh, I need a better compute. We need a better computer. But as you can see here, I'm starting to open fire on the Izumo, and then finally, that's when, and then finally now, hours were six minutes in, the enemy team starts opening, excuse me, five minutes in, the enemy team starts to open fire on me. So I then, and proceed to go and, oh, and so that's, so then I proceed to go and, Turn my bow towards the Zumo to reduce damage dealt to me. To me, so 
He, but he's actually ha but you can see here he's, he's actually having trouble because he's rotating away from me to try to dodge torpedo a torpedo attack which he just did there and that fire has now put him down to less than 20k HP PK HP and of course I'm being aware of that torpedo bomber squadron that dive bomber squadron excuse me and then also putting on my repair party uh, to keep my HP in a stable in a stable place where I like it I get, and Izumo's already gone down, and I mean, I mean, we were six minutes in, I mean, we were five minutes in, and within just, um, and within just a minute, he's already about to die, but then I actually do remember, he then started to hold back. Like it, it was feeling like he was holding back, as you can see here, his HP pool is actually starting to regenerate now. I was made it very difficult, and then I just had to bring out that third turret, but er, but eventually you got him. So yeah, within a, within a minute and a half, that Izumo was pretty much dead. I mean, it would have, but I mean, it, it would have destroyed him in a minute if I, if 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 he if he didn't resist that death. All right, we, so now we're seven minutes in. I've already done a great amount of damage, 115 15 and a half k damage. How much? I mean, I mean that's high. I mean that's high. I and then we, and then I start opening fire on that, on that line to see if I can steal a kill or not. Uh, I mean I'm going as quick as I can. And I mean you can see I just set that fire. He's under 10k HP. Hey, I mean he's about. I mean he's about to die at this point. All right, and uh. Oh, and then, boom, 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 takes, boom, takes, then I took the line, I take the line, I mean, we're at 12 minutes, 12 minutes, 25 seconds remaining, remaining, and I've got, and now I've dealt 100, 160, 126k damage. Anyway, so not, not too bad of a start. Are you for a co-op battle? All right. Now, at this point, all we have left is the enemy aircraft carrier. Here, and, all, and you can see, I've already done very good, actually. I mean, I would have had five kills if... I mean, I mean honestly, I would have had five... I mean, I would have had five kills if the Donskoy and the... Oi... And one of the BBs um, didn't steal it from me. If I got lucky. Lucky that case. Ace, and, and then... And as you can see here, we've here, and then, and boom, there's the Essex. Essex just gets spotted. And right, so now we're literally, and now, and I'm immediately opening fire on it. But then also making sure, checking its actions, and to see if it's going to attack me or not. I mean, I'm maneuvering toward that plane cell because, because it's closest to me. Eat, you know, I make the smart maneuver to just avoid that torpedo to lower, or, over repair costs, because you know we all hate paying for repairs. You know. There's, you know. Oh, and then, and then, and then as you can see here, we just lost contact with the Essex here. So here in that, and that bombs armor squadron does a pretty rubbish job. I'm can't control H. I cannot. Con I cannot. Control H to make that thing, you know, pop up. But then I see a fire. But then I see I've just set a fire, and then, and then, and then, boom! There's the Essex back on the radar again at 30, 34 k HP. And now we just, and now I'm just continuing, continuing to fire at it. At it, and I'm also checking on, on the Izumo and the Lion, trying to see if, because I'm checking, because you know I don't know if. To make sure, to see if I've still got time to spare this kill and get it before, and try to get it before they, um, well, steal it from me. So we're, so we're 10 minutes in now. Oh, and he's now at 14k HP. Now 13k HP. I mean, I mean, there's fires all over the deck. Heck, I mean... 
Easy mo. I mean, the battle slips haven't even got a shot off. Huh? And then there's the battle ended. All right, so here, here on my Facebook page, so this is the battle results here. Here, so as you can see, they had 177k, and then point, did 177, point seven k damage, and then just receiving almost 200,000 credits. That's, but, that's, but you'd also see, I was 106 free XP, but then I also received 2108 2, experience. It's, but, it's what you're noticing though, like it says on the post, I didn't have the XP bonus, and 21, 1k, 2.1k XP for a battle that went this awesome is pretty low. Low, you think, especially if I have bonus. But like you're saying, but, but the reason this is my best battle is because if I had the XP bonus, this I would have, which is which was the three times XP bonus, I would basically receive 6,324 or normal XP, which is, the, and this is why I decided to post it. And this is what made Independence Day better than last year, here in World of Warships, because, I was like, I mean, it is true, I didn't set the XP record, but I, but I still set, but I, you'd say I kind of did, but I still did set the record for, but I still set a, diff, set a different record, receiving the most XP in a, so this is my current battle record, this is the biggest amount of XP I've ever received without an XP bonus, and with that bonus, it would just break the record instantly. So, oh well. So, oh guys. Well, that's a broken record right there. I mean, it is true. True, last year I didn't have a battle where I received 5k XP with a with a bonus on, but but this one just totally smashes the record, guys. Guys, I am a little disappointed I didn't have the bonus on because I was trying to get a pretty sweet battle to finish the day off, but. Either way, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please don't forget to uh, to press that like button and subscribe. Button. And if you really enjoy what I'm doing on this channel, then don't forget to subscribe. And if you are subscribed, then please don't forget to turn on notifications. And without further ado, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.